Hey there, welcome to your interactive art project. This is a project that I've found and kind of discovered over time and it's one of my favorites to get students engaged in the creative process. This class often will go with something that doesn't necessarily take a necessarily large amount of skill and we'll do a project that bases it on creative thinking. And then the next project we'll try to grow a skill and then we'll go between the idea of creative thinking and skill growth. And this project is called interactive art. And basically the idea is you're taking something that's drawn and you're interacting it with an object. So let's say this drawing of this, I mean, I just spent like three minutes doing it, interacts with this pencil. And rather than just putting the pencil on the person's foot, you would break the pencil. So it seems like the karate chopping person is busting the pencil. This is the first idea of many ideas that I found online when I was kind of discovering this project. So I saw a drawing that looked kind of like this, someone breaking a pencil. You would then take a picture of this for your actual art. So again, the idea with the art is you're interacting, drawing, or you know, colored pencil, or working with some sort of a mark making tool, and interacting with a 3D object. So maybe it's a pin, right? So we have a pin here, and the pin is putting, you know, the coat, or the jacket or the shirt hanging it up and the person's like dangling like hey help me out um, or maybe you have an eraser and the eraser is erasing part of the drawing that was one of my favorite ones that a student made the eraser is like erasing part of the drawing and everyone's like running away like hey watch out um, so how are you going to get creative with what's around you you don't need much and interact your simple paper with that object to create a final work then document the image of your work, um, whatever that ends up being, and then turn that into your slideshow and then through the class. I'm excited to see your interactive project and I'm excited to see you get to creative thinking and uh, yeah, see how that goes. There's no wrong answer. Just uh, explore boldly and I would try to challenge you to not just use uh, something you've seen online. Come up with your own idea. See if there's something, maybe if you love music, that relates to the music you love. And uh, good luck creating.